Welcome back everybody to your MySQL Stored Procedures and Functions series. In this video, we're kind of doing a part two to creating stored procedures. To begin, we had to change what was known as the delimiter. That's what separates statements in MySQL. The default is a semicolon. To change that, all we have to do is say delimiter, and then you just say what you want the new delimiter to be. So we'll go with two forward slashes. And then eventually you're going to have to change this back. But before you do that, you okay, boy? Before you do that, you're going to want to start your procedure. So to do that, you use the create procedure command. And then you give it a name. And then you just put parentheses. So this is where later you will give it parameters. But for now, we'll just keep it at that. And then you say begin. That is how you start the definition of a stored procedure. We have a stored procedure with the name friends and it takes no parameters and we can use the semicolon within the definition because we use this delimiter here. That way the semicolon can be passed to the server rather than being interpreted by MySQL. The next part is what I mentioned in the last video which is the end keyword followed by your new delimiter. So basically we're passing the end command and then we're ending that statement. Finally, we can change the delimiter back to the semicolon. Perfect. You just made a sweet procedure that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> but this is the shell of what your procedure is going to be. Earlier when I drew that box that represented a procedure, that was this. So think of this as a giant box. And now we are exploring the innards of this box object thing. <laughs> now where do you actually put your code? Well, I'm assuming you guys can realize that the code goes right here. So you can put whatever the heck you want right here, and that's what's going to run when you run this procedure. So since we're having this procedure called friends, we'll just say select everything from Friends. So let's just say we have a friends table, and that's what it's going to do. Kind of ran out of room there, but it's okay. <laughs> so this is a procedure that is going to return everything from the friends table. Another thing I wanted to mention is that this delimiter thing, that's only going to be applicable for some situations. For example, if you're using the MySQL command line client, you're going to need to use this. But if you're using something like PHP My Admin, or this SQL fiddle tool I've been using, there is a different way you need to tell it that we're using a different delimiter. And we'll get into that when we're starting to create some stored procedures and it'll, it'll make sense when the time comes, but just thought, I thought I'd let you guys know if you're typing this stuff in, in, my, uh, in PHP my admin, for example, and you're getting errors, that's probably why. Now that you have this procedure created, how do you go about actually using it? It's very simple, you use the call command. Call friends. I bet you none will answer. <laughs> Kidding. This is much simpler though than actually doing whatever the procedure code is. Even though our procedure was so simple and it only had one line of code, this is still much shorter than writing out the code yourself. You can see this only uses about two words and this uses four, kind of. <laughs> So if you're working with a team and the team doesn't exactly have lots of SQL experience and you want them to be able to write SQL, that's exactly what you want. All you got to do is create a procedure and then they can just call it and they don't have to worry about writing out the code like this. And that is a perfect exit to introduce the next video. So I will see you guys then. Be sure to subscribe.